The Holy Bible says that when the Son of Man sets you free, you are free indeed. Now, why after deliverance do I still have symptoms of demonic attacks? Why after deliverance do I still see a woman coming to my dreams to try and rape me? Why am I still having sexual dreams? Why am I still being tempted? Look, temptation is a part of Christian's life. No one can say that he or she is not tempted. Even our Lord Jesus Christ was tempted. 40 days he was in the wilderness and the, the, and the devil tempted him, isn't it? So if our Master, the Lord Jesus Christ, was tempted, who are we to be not tempted? A servant is not greater than our Master. Our Master was tempted. So who are we as disciples to not be tempted? It is scriptural. It is just and right for us to be tempted. But a real Christian, a true Christian, should refuse to be tempted. Do you get it what I mean? I look here, this is temptation. I look there, that is temptation. But a real Christian, a true Christian, should refuse to be tempted. This is Lasso Thoughts. I immediately blow it away. This is thoughts on making my career path based on money and not based on seeking the Lord's kingdom. Because the Bible says that seek first the kingdom of God and everything shall be added unto you. But now our senses say seek money first, then kingdom follow us. No, kingdom will not follow us if we make our choices based on where money is, there we go. That is wrong. Refuse to be tempted. I seek first the kingdom of heaven. Well, there are three spirits here on earth. We have to understand this. First, God's spirit. Second, man's spirit. Third, the spirit of Satan. You agree with me, right? And it is scriptural too. Satan's spirit, God's spirit, and man's spirit. Man has divine nature, two natures, the human nature and the divine nature. And man's divine nature can yield itself, I mean it can attach itself to either God's spirit or Satan's spirit. So, let us take a look at the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 5, verse 3. It says that, a dream comes through many cares. Wow, I will repeat that again. A dream comes through many cares. So if I care about money, I will not be surprised that in a dream later tonight, I will see myself counting money. Instead of the faith bracelet, you count the faith. You now start to count dollars in your dream. $1, $2, $3. The next one is $100 note, $103 note, uh, $203, oh, $1,000 note, $2,000. I remember in the past, before I became a Christian, I used to watch worldly movies. That is, movies that is of the world. Violence, fighting, transformers, all these kinds of stuff. And after I watched these movies, in my dream, I will still dream of what I have watched. So, the scripture is fulfilled. A dream comes through many cares. You have to discern if your dream is from God or from Satan or from yourself. Three kinds of options that your dream may originate from. Does that mean that if I sleep, I dream of the movies that I have watched during the daytime, I am possessed by Satan? No, it is too soon to say that. That dream may come from your human spirit. Man has a choice. God anointed King Saul to be the first king of Israel, but he made a choice to disobey the Lord's commandments. 
so God removed him from the kingship. God anointed the prophet Balaam to be a prophet. But Balaam, though seeing God's angels and even a donkey talked with him, an animal with no speech talked with him literally, he made a choice to turn his back away from God and go towards Satan. Human spirit is present. God has promised me to be a true Christian. God has promised you to be a true Christian. We have the choice to say, No God, I'm not going to follow you. And God will not say anything. Remember Judas Iscariot, how he was a part of the 12 apostles. But he made the choice to betray Jesus Christ. And he went to the field called uh, uh, called, called a place in the Hebrew or Aramaic and there he killed himself and his intestines spilled out. Remember, he was one of the twelve apostles. He prayed for demons to be cast out and he prayed for the sick and they got healed. But in the end, after all these miracles that Jesus sent out the twelve, Judas Iscariot still went and died by a suicide, betrayed our Lord Jesus Christ. Man's spirit is present here on earth, so this point is supported. He made a choice, Judas made a choice, King Saul made a choice, the prophet Balaam made a choice to become a witch doctor instead of being his calling a prophet. God's spirit, it is present of course, the Holy Spirit. So that thing we do not need to argue about. Satan's spirit, of course, the spirit of the devil, you know it, I know it, is present. Three spirits here on earth. So now the question is, why, why after deliverance do I still see myself having sex in dream? You have to discern if that sex in dream, a woman coming to rape me in the night time, is from Satan or from your human spirit. If it is from Satan, it means perhaps the mistake you have made it is from the mistakes you have made and you know, I mean, you have to repent again. If it is from your human spirit, all you need to do is just to reform your thoughts and go to the Bible the more, read the Bible the more, pray the more, fast the more. But now today, after deliverance, people went back to sleep and they saw themselves having sex in dream, they wake up and they say, Oh, I need deliverance again. No, that is too fast to say. Because that dream may be because of your cares. Like what I said in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 5, verse 3. A dream comes through many cares. If you care about a, perhaps a sweet, beautiful woman or a muscular, handsome man talking to you in the daytime, your schoolmate, your colleague, you find them attractive, don't be surprised that in the night time, you will find yourself having sex with them. Or another woman uh, in an attractive form or a muscular man, a giant man, come and have sex with you. That does not mean that that dream is from Satan. That may be from your human spirit. Because you find that women or men attractive as you communicate with him in the daytime, your colleague, your schoolmates, and then your human spirit, you went to sleep with that thinking about it. Your care is on that man. Your care is on that woman. A dream comes through many cares. That is what the Bible says. If it is from the human spirit, well done. When you wake up, you say, Lord Jesus Christ, I repent from my heart being skilled towards the attractiveness of men. I have walked by sight and not by faith. When the Bible says that we live by faith and not by sight. Father, I forgive me, Father, for seeing that woman or that man that I communicated with yesterday being attractive. Lord, I know that it is your choice for me, not all this. I should not care about all this. My heart should only be should my my heart should only care about the Holy Bible. That is it. 
no deliverance, no need. When the Son of Man sets you free, you are free indeed. That, it may be a mistake, because of your heart is not filled with the Word of God. But you go out and do your own emotions. Your emotions, your senses are the one that leads you and not the Spirit of God. So that itself, the, your human spirit overtakes your divine nature and you dream about all these things. Similarly, if someone makes you angry, don't be afraid. Don't be surprised, I mean, when you sleep and you see yourself killing that person or punching that person in the dream. That does not mean Satan has possessed you. It is your human spirit. The Bible says that no man is righteous, not even one. Only Jesus Christ, isn't it? Apostle Paul said in the book of Romans, he said, What I want to do, I do not do. But that I do not do, that I do not want to do, I do. <laughs> isn't it? Now, let us come to dreams caused by Satan. If that dream is caused by Satan, if you have not yet been delivered, for your information, the Rod of Iron Church runs a weekly prayer line service. You may be the next one. Just contact the number that you see on the screen and the evangelist, the prophet, will pray for you, for your deliverance, for your freedom. So, if you have not yet been delivered, deliverance I not mean by you yourself falling to the ground when a pastor pray for you. That is not deliverance. Sure, that may be a part of deliverance. I pray for people, they fall down, good. But the true deliverance that I mean is your heart being changed by the Holy Spirit. Because a Christian is not someone who is baptized in the water. A Christian is not someone who has read the Holy Bible. No, a Christian is not someone who is baptized in the water. A Christian is not someone who has read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. A Christian is not someone who has attended many church services. A Christian is someone whose thoughts, words and actions are influenced by the Holy Spirit. That is a Christian. A Christian is someone who is lifting the load together with God. A Christian is someone who is walking with the Holy Spirit. Not someone who has read Bible from Genesis to Revelation three times, seven times, eight times. The Pharisees, Sadducees and the teachers of the law, they read the scriptures, but they killed the author of life, Jesus Christ. They killed the author of life, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So, if you have been delivered, or I would say now, as in the case, since you are talking about dreams caused by Satan, before that, I would like to tap onto the book of Job, chapter 3, verse 25. It says that, What I fear has overtaken me. Meaning, what I fear has come onto me. I fear of Satan coming to attack me at night time when I'm alone at the room. Don't be surprised in your dream. You wake up with fear. Sleep paralysis. Yeah? That may be from a human spirit because you fear you give Satan a foothold in your life or that may be from the Satan spirit. Satan spirit is what I'm going to talk about now. If you fear what, you, what will happen to you, it will overtake you. Job chapter 3 verse 25 What I fear has overtaken me. Now, if your dream is caused by Satan's spirit, meaning if you not have, if you have not yet been truly delivered, your words, thoughts, and actions influenced by the Holy Spirit, walking with the Holy Spirit, lifting the load with the Lord Jesus Christ, then, like I said, you have to discern. The gift of discernment is very powerful. One of the nine gifts of the Holy Spirit, the gift of discernment. Alright? The gift of discernment. So you have to discern if it is from man, spirit or Satan's spirit. You can know whether it is from your human nature or from Satan. When you wake up, what is your heart telling you? 
is your heart telling you that you should still go and pray the more, fast the more, read the Bible the more, fellowship the more, or after that dream, you start to find yourself, wow, what I did in that dream was so wonderful. That pleasure was very wonderful. I had sex with that man or women. It felt so nice. That dream start to lead you to pornography, start to lead you to create Instagram account and see the beautiful opposite sex. Then, you can know, Satan's spirit has entered you. You need deliverance. Because what has happened to you has started to lead you closer to Satan instead of leading you closer to God. Similarly, many people think that the dreams that they have are from God, when in fact, the dream itself is from their own human spirit. Personally, I have dreamt of TB Joshua more than 20 times in my dream. More than 20 times, TB Joshua a man of God. But as I applied the gift of discernment, I find that maybe it was only about four of these 20 times are from God. The rest of the 16 times are because of my cares. I watch Emmanuel TV a lot. I sleep with Emmanuel TV. I think of TB Joshua all day long. Just like how before I became a Christian, I think of the movies that I watch. When I sleep, I dream of Transformers. When I sleep, I dreamt of ghost movies. So now, I sleep, I dream of TB Joshua. We need the gift of discernment. It is not all dreams you say, it is God trying to say to me something. Nightmare comes, it is Satan trying to attack me. I cast away, I rebuke. That is not the way. Three spirit in this world. We need the gift of discernment to discern these three. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want to assure you, many people have received their freedom here. The Road of Iron Church does not charge a single cent, neither after the prayer session that we have with you for your freedom, prophecy, deliverance and healing, we start to pester you to say, uh, look, you did not need to travel overseas to come for prayer. All you need was online come give 10% of your income no we don't do that freely we receive freely we give god bless you in the name of jesus christ i pray amen amen and amen